In this video, we are going to learn three small tricks that we can use with Spread Offset EA on a day-to-day -day basis to make our life easy. The first trick would be to edit the import parameters post-launching it. This is something that you will certainly encounter once you start using the EA. Let's say you have an open cell trade on NZDJPY and you would want to use the EA on this trade. Simply drag and drop the EA on the chart, check your input parameters and click on OK. You will see the EA being activated. Let's say post activation or launching, if there is a need to edit the input parameters, then right click and remove the EA. Or alternatively, the easier path would be to drag and drop the EA again onto the chart. Once you do that, you will see a dialog box open. Click on yes and then enter the new input parameters that you want to edit the EA to. Click OK and you are good to go. Please make a note, this trick will only work prior to stop loss extension. The second trick is how to edit stop loss when the EA is active or rather say your stop loss has extended. Let's take the same open cell trade. We have a stop loss set to 78.40, which is pretty close to the market ask price and the chances to get caught by spreads are high, especially if you are nearing the day changeover. We are going to activate the spread offset for a minute with the extension time as 2350 and the shrink time as 2351. Click on OK and the EA will be activated. Now the stop loss extension has happened and you intend to push the original stop loss by let's say 10 pips. Then all you have to do is open the stop loss edit window and push your stop loss by 10 pips from its original value and press modify. The EA is smart enough to know the revised value and upon shrinking the value of the new stop loss will be 78.50 and not 78.40. The goal of Spread Offset EA is to offer users flexibility to edit on the go when the EA is active. And there we go. Congratulations, you have your new value of 78.50 as your stop loss. The third trick would be setting your presets. When you drag and drop Spread Offset EA to the chart, you will notice Time for Extension and Shrink are set to 11.55 and 0.105 respectively. The defaults are set keeping in mind the day changeover for every individual irrespective of your location will be the same. However, if your trading strategy calls for the user Spread Offset for NFP between 15.25 and 15.45 then you can save it as your default and you won't have to physically type in the input parameters every time. Let's place our input parameters as 1525 and 1545. Click save and give your file a name. We shall name it NFP and click save. We are not going to activate the EA as our target is to learn on how to set presets. Now let's launch spread offset and see how our presets look like. Load NFP and open or just double click on NFP and there you go, you have your preset values. Upon subscribing for spread offset, extension and shrink time by default are set to 11.55 and 0.105. If you want it to your preference, then shoot us an email and we will code it for you. Thanks for watching. Check out our installation video of expert advisors on Windows and Mac. And if you are a scalper or intraday trader, then watch our video on Looper. Do hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. Until then, this is Percy from Hatchet Systems.